What's up guys? It's Curtis from Merch Titans and today in this video I want to go over some of the free tools that my team and I made for Merch by Amazon. And these tools, these particular tools serve a couple of different purposes that can be used whenever you like and they're found over at MerchTitans.com under the tools menu option as you can see here. And as of the making of this video we offer five free tools we have the product research, ASIN finder, keyword research, trademark checker, and uh, the image resizer tools. Those are all free, and uh, I'll go through them individually to explain how each of them work. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll start with the product research tool. And this one is probably my favorite of all the free tools, because you can instantly gauge a market to see how well the t-shirts or hoodies or sweatshirts are selling in that market or that niche and then go from there. So this is where I always base my research, it's where I always start it. So I'll start with a keyword, funny fishing shirts, click enter or click search. And just like that, you have real-time data pulled from Amazon the second you click search. So now I can see with this keyword, the top selling shirts that are returned on Amazon right now. And this isn't all shirts, this is merch by Amazon specific shirts. So this top one is receiving an estimate of 20 sales per month. It has a seller rank of 134,000. The price is $14.95. You can see the brand name used, the ASIN, and uh, of course the title and the image. And you can click on this to go view the shirt on Amazon as well. And uh, with the free tool, we don't offer the features or description. We don't pull that information. With the paid tool, we do offer you that. We actually offer you historical data and we offer 100 return results instead of 25. Um, but just like that, with this keyword, I can see right here, there's another really well-selling shirt. This one's selling well. This one's selling well. So the top four are selling quite well. And then you can see that the other ones are definitely getting a few sales too. So you can use this tool to find inspiration, find design ideas, and actually gauge a market to see how much demand there is. Uh, but that covers just the basics of the tool. You can get super creative with it and find all kinds of potential markets and niches to move into. Anyway, let's move along uh, to the ASIN Finder. This is a very simple tool. Some people do find value in it, so we built it. Um, I'll explain how that works. So basically, you'll paste the URL of an Amazon product into this box and click search, and it'll grab the ASIN of the URL. So I have this product over here on Amazon pulled up. I'm gonna copy the URL, and then move it over to the tool, hit Control V to paste it, and then hit search. And just like that, you have the ASIN pulled. You can click it, it's copied to clipboard, and do what you must with it. But for other people, you can find the ASIN right here. Anyway, that's the simplicity of that tool, and that's how you use it. Now let's move on to the keyword research tool. So this tool doesn't give you search volume, volume yet, but what it does do is you can put it in a base keyword, and it'll pull all the auto-suggested results from Amazon and uh, from Google. So you can see right here, you can select which platform. So I'll use Amazon, and again, I'll use the funny fishing one for uh, example. And there you go, you have nine returned results, and they're different. So see the funny fishing shirts for men, funny fishing gifts, funny fishing shirts, funny fishing t-shirts for men, and so on. So it's a very simple tool. I can go and check it on Google as well and see what is returned there. So you can see that, shirts again, memes, quotes, videos, and so on. Anyway, that's a simple tool to gauge keywords to see what's in the auto-suggested results on Amazon or on Google. If it appears in those results, there's a good chance that it's receiving enough hits from uh, consumers to appear as an auto-suggested result. Now moving on to the trademark checker tool. This one again is quite simple. It goes out and checks the USPTO database to see if a trademark exists. So let's go with a common one like Apple. Click search. Give it a few seconds, and it, it'll tell you, not safe to use. We found one trademark related to this keyword. All right, so let's try a random phrase like fishy, fishy, and see if that's okay to use. And uh, it looks like it's safe to use. And of course, you want to go in and do your own research too to check the USPTO uh, trademark search and make sure it's okay there. Um, you can use this tool, though, to quickly gauge if a phrase is trademarked or not. Now moving on to the image resizer tool, 
Um, I actually made a video on this already that goes in more depth showing you the tool in action. Um, and I'll link to that in the description of this video just so you can quickly go over and view that. But basically you can upload one of your random Merch by Amazon t-shirt designs and it'll optimize it for the front design of hoodies without losing any quality. It'll scale it perfectly and then you can quickly just hit resize and it'll give you the new image to download and then you can go from there. Um, and then we do have, I've had a couple people ask me about bulk resizing options and that is something we are working on. Um, anyway, that's pretty much it. Take advantage of these free tools from Merch Titans. Let us know if you find these useful in the comments section below. If you have any ideas or suggestions, we'd love to hear them. Just let me know again in the comments. Um, and that's it for this video. See you guys in the next one.